<laughs> hey composers, do you know the so-called beat mapping function in Logic? You know what is it for? Is it worth? Do you know how to use it? If you don't, well, stick around. So the Logic beat map is just a way you know to manipulate the tempo track to make changes um, in the tempo line of your project. There's actually another way to do that, to, you know, modify the project tempo, um, like using, for instance, the so-called smart tempo. But today I want to just quickly focus on the beat map function and clarify how it works, because, you know, it could be just a bit confusing. It has been definitely for myself. First off, why and when you should use bitmap? It could be massively helpful, just in a particular scenario. Say you have a track, MIDI or audio, which is not quantized, you know, because it has been played uh, freely, like on uh, live recording, like this one. You see, if I activate the click, it's just not in the right place. The metronome, the click, the BPM is not following my track, right? But still, you wanna keep that exact feeling, that, you know, that natural flow. But at the same time, you want the BPM, the metronome, the click um, to follow your music. So you want to align your music with the grid, the bars, the beat. So, as a consequence, um, if the music is not a tempo played one, uh, but you want to organize it inside uh, structured musical measures anyway, in other words, you want a metronome, the click of your project, to follow your free music, you will get, obviously, a non-uniform uh, tempo track with many tempo changes as you need. So you activate the bitmap function, bitmapping function here in the global tracks in Logic. You select, it's very important to remember, you select your track. And here, the grid above that light cloned, uh, let's say, version of your track, you hover your pointer on a bar, a beat, a division, a subdivision, wherever you want. Yet. You know, mostly you'll find yourself um, to handle just with the main beats. Let's take, for instance, this one. You click and by holding, you move left or right here to the exact point where that beat you've chosen should anchor to your music. Let's say I want to anchor in this point. You see, the tempo is changed. So if I perform another alignment here, Another tempo tweaking here has been applied. Remember to use Control Shift to move at your liking this um, tempo track uh, transient here. Because, you know, sometimes logic can detect very well uh, the transient of your music. So, in this case, you can press and hold, press um, Ctrl Shift while holding, click your mouse and moving it uh, left or right to choose the right position. Remember, you should always select your region like that before making your tempo adjustment. If nothing is selected here, you just can't do the alignment with the grid. And by the way, you can even ask Logic to beat map uh, for yourself by choosing, you know, one of the following options here, like found beats from region here. And you can choose different option to align by bar, by quarter note and all the uh, rhythmic values. It depends on your music, how much Logic algorithm could do um, its best job or not. If you want to get rid of this transient here, you just select one and press delete. Or way easier, you grab the eraser tool and you just erase how many you need at once. 
So here's the final result. I've also made some uh, adjustment in the time signature as well. You see, uh, five four four four, uh, two four, three eight three four. When you work with uh, such music like this one, which are totally free from a tempo grid, the way you can handle it is. Um, using bit mapping and making some changes in a signature tempo of your track. I can think basically of three main scenarios where mm, beat mapping could come in handy. Let music which has been played or recorded live not by click by metronome uh, to have a uniform and steady BPM, you want to realize a score out of your music where, of course, all notes, uh, you know, have to be notated in a proper way within a grid and not so messed up. I mean, if you're working with a MIDI track, you're placing your music on a video and you want to hit a specific point, uh, just sync it with your music with that exact moment of the same T code. Sometimes it could be helpful to get not so many, you know, drastic tempo changes in your tempo track. You could try to, uh, let's say, flatten at least some parts of your music. Say like these ones where there's just a tiny difference in tempo. So you select the area in the tempo track where you want to operate. And you flatten these points with a specific keyboard shortcut to get an average tempo between them. You can find this shortcut by searching like uh, just average within the shortcut window and landing on replace by average, which by default is not assigned, but of course you can definitely trigger it through um, whatever key or combination of keys you want. Have fun!